Hello friends, Coco is here and let's get started. Not only the first trailer has appeared online, but also a summary of the plot of the new film about Venom. As always, it is spread by insiders, whose level of trust is more than 80%. So you can take their statements seriously and do not forget that at the same time as assumptions, they can be called spoilers. What will we talk about? The thing is that Venom is a black alien symbiote that has enormous power and is constantly hungry. And he is also the owner of a multiverse collective mind, so he already knows that Spider-Man is extremely dangerous. In the future, he will kill the Brock Venom couple. This should be prevented. And he convinces Eddie to track down and destroy Spider. But everything is simple and complex at the same time, in their universe, at the moment, Peter Parker is only 10 years old. It won't be difficult to kill him. But Eddie is a man with his weaknesses, affections, and compassion. After Venom tortures Peter by exposing him to spider attacks, which causes the boy to have a severe allergy, Brock changes his mind about killing. On the contrary, he takes the boy to the hospital. It would seem that's it. The allergy was cured, we move on with our lives. But no, Eddie and Venom have new opponents who want to destroy not only their couple, but also Peter. And now you have to save not only yourself, but also the boy. These are the rumors about the plot of the new Venom 3. Although I note that in the first trailer there is no mention of Peter Parker yet. This, of course, does not mean that he will not appear in the next ones. Moreover, attentive fans noticed some mysterious boy in the trailer, 225 Mark. But at the moment, the story with Spider-Man is only rumors from insiders. Then let's talk about what has already been confirmed. Who is the villain so, from the new trailer it became clear that Eddie Brock and the Venom symbiote will be confronted by the villain, Toxin. And who is he? This is a descendant of Carnage, a Marvel supervillain, the sworn enemy of Venom and Spider-Man. It has had many hosts, but the most famous from Earth, 616 is Cletus Kasady, a serial killer whose sadistic nature matches that of the symbiote. Among the carrier's friends is even Gwen Stacy in the alternate universe of Ultimate Marvel. By the way, it's not very clear with this toxin, in some comics he is depicted as a villain, but somewhere they talk about him as a superhero. Apparently, the whole point is who is its original carrier. For example, policeman Patrick Mulligan administers justice and acts for the good of the law. And then, for some reason, things don't go well for this couple. And the fact is that in comics, the next carrier, after the deceased Patrick Mulligan, should be none other than Eddie Brock. We'll see how it will be in the film. Trailer, what's the plot? If the villain and main antagonist are already known for sure, then what about the plot? The trailer hints that the new film will show major fallout from the multiverse travels of Eddie and his symbiote pal Venom. Let me remind you that in Venom 2, at the end, Eddie and Venom ended up in the main reality of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Here is Tom Holland's Spider-Man. But at the end of the film, Spider-Man, No Way Home, the couple returned to their world. Scientists and the military drew attention to such active movements. The result is that they are being hunted. The group is led by Juno Temple, Ted Lasso, and Chuatel Ejiofor, Dr. Strange. In the synopsis for the third part there is a definition, Eddie and Venom will be pursued by representatives of two worlds. It is still unclear what the creators mean, different versions of the multiverse or an invasion of symbiotes from Venom's home planet Clintar. Or maybe all together. After all, in the trailer we see scientists and military officers who say that the existence of aliens must be kept secret by any means necessary. We always thought it was impossible. That we are alone in the universe. Our job is to keep this a secret. So the main characters have plenty of enemies. And the most important question that worries Venom fans is whether Eddie Brock will die at the end of the third part or not. On the one hand, the creators say that this will be the last part. On the other hand, there are rumors about the appearance of Venom in Avengers 5. 
what does the last dance in the title mean? After all, this may be a hint that many dances can only be danced together. This means that the Venom slash Brock pair will break up. But the carrier will remain. The trailer ends mysteriously, foreshadowing a not so easy solution. We may not make it out alive, buddy. Eddie, the time has come. Well, we'll see everything with our own eyes in the fall. Coco and friends were with you, don't forget to subscribe so as not to miss other interesting films in the world of cinema.